excited because I found out that my cousin's here as well. She's also from the UK, but her boyfriend is from Trinidad and she's here visiting him. So I'm really very excited because I get to see her and I really wasn't expecting it and we're going to the beach. So I will show you what I look like right now. I'm just wearing this dress, but I don't know if I'm actually gonna wear it to the beach. Um, it's from Bershka. I really like it. It's striped and underneath it I'm wearing my bikini top which I quite like. I got it last year from H&M and I'm a huge fan of it. Um, so I will show you my finished look in a sec. For my face I'm going to do the same thing I did yesterday. So I'm going to wash it with my Bobbi Bright uh, face wash and then apply uh, sunscreen and then the Bobbi Brown moisturiser. But because I'm going to the beach I'm going to use this instead. Um, because it's got SPF 55 and my moisturiser is only SPF 28. Um, so guys, my dad just went out and he got me um, a Doubles from down the road. Um, Doubles is a local delicacy in Trinidad and Tobago and it's basically two pieces of flat fried bread which is called bara, so it's fried dough called bara, um, with curried chana in the middle and chana is um, another word for chickpeas. And then they put all sorts of sauces on it, like tamarind, um, shadow benny, which is um, Spanish cilantro. So it's very sort of strong coriander um, and pepper sauce as well, hot pepper sauce. So this is what it looks like. And I'm so excited to consume it. <laughs> I'll try to film myself, but I don't know how that's going to work. It's probably going to be quite a messy process. It's okay. <laughs> mm, okay, I'm gonna enjoy this by myself now. Bye guys. Hi, uh, that doubles was really good. It's wet my appetite, um, so now I'm about to have a mince pie. Though I must say I really like it when there's a lot of tamarind and mango in my doubles, so now I'm gonna sort of spend the next few days looking for another doubles. <laughs> Um, just while I'm downstairs, I want to show you this wonderful painting. I absolutely love it. It's a kind of sinister looking Moorish man. But I just really love the painting. You can tell that he's in Spain. Um, just from the, well, it looks as though he's in Spain from the architecture behind him. I just love it. But anyway, um, so these are the mince pies that I'm going to be devouring. I'll probably just have one. They're from Waitrose. I think Mum brought them back on her way home. Um, so I'm very excited to try mine. Min uh, mince pies are a very British Christmas thing um, and in Trinidad what people have is black cake and this is what my auntie, cousin and mum were preparing yesterday and it's absolutely delicious especially with some ice cream. Mm, it's got uh, fruits in it that have been soaked for over a month in rum and other liquors. So. <laughs> Um, it's actually quite strong. It could probably make you feel a bit tipsy. It's tasty. The funny thing is that mince pies and black cake aren't that different in the sense that they both contain a lot of fruits that are sweet. I really like mince pies because the pastry sort of complements the fruit and what I like about black cake is that you can have it with ice cream and that makes it really tasty too. Mmm. I'm putting a lot on my forehead because this is the part of my face that got so badly burnt in Madrid in the summer. It's awful. Right, so it has set really nicely. I actually really like this. I haven't used it in a while so I sort of forgot what it was like. Um, but I really, really do like how it's set on my skin. It doesn't look purple. Um, my face doesn't look very greasy. It looks as it normally does. Right, so my face is a bit shiny but that is more or less set. And now I'm going to add my baby skin to get rid of all the pores you can see you, or you probably can't see but my pores are quite enlarged and I have this huge mosquito bite right here and another one here I get a lot of mosquito bites on my face unfortunately so now I'm going to apply this baby skin and as you can see it's literally erasing all of my pores, 
all of my greasiness is just gone with this. I love this product. I think this was such a good idea. And I was worried that it would clog my pores, but it doesn't at all. As long as you wash your face afterwards, it's fine. Because the reason I don't use regular foundations is because they really clog my pores and then I get spots. So look, my face is done. So this is the lookout. Yeah, it's really good selfie. It's lovely. And this is Kiki, my cousin. Yeah, the focal point of the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we're so kind of fucked all eyes. Everybody can't have a set of rules. Peach, peach. And this is Luke. And our driver is Sha Chanel. <laughs> And this, and this here, and I'm me as per usual. So I've just got my bake and shark, which is probably not actually shark, so please don't be too worried. Um, and I'm about to add a selection of toppings to it. These are the toppings here. This is hot pepper sauce, shadow benny, um, that's garlic, ketchup, mustard, um, there's all sorts here, pineapple, really important. Um, so you'll have a look at it when it's finished. This is the finished product. I've got my pineapple, shadow benny, garlic sauce, hot pepper sauce, tomatoes, lettuce, um, all sorts of goodness right there. I'm very excited. 